Samba, 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 Samba. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video on the channel today. Forest at home to Luton Town. It's a game that's becoming quite a regular fixture for us these days. They're becoming a pretty good team, Luton. Currently in 11th place, we're in 13th. Luton did not win their last game away at QPR and of course we drew against Reading, a team that are in 20th. So, you know, you could argue a case that that is a game that we should be a little bit disappointed not to be winning. So, I think we do need to be bouncing back here and especially when you realise that we have West Bomb after this. Yeah, we need to get a result really, but I mean, it wouldn't be the end of the world if we didn't because Luton are a good side. Let's go. Come on you Reds. Dad. David. Luton Town, what do you think today? Luton Town, it's going to be a difficult game because they're a couple of places above us, aren't they? Yes. Um, but I think we could just pick this one. I think 1-0. I'll be very happy with 1-0. But don't forget, we are playing probably the legend that is Gotang Bong. Or are we playing with 10 men because of Gotang Bong? Yeah. 1-0, Forrest. You Reds. Mara's back. Hey, uh, am I converting into a Forest fan? Uh, not yet. Okay, we'll give it time. Um, you're not a Forest fan, obviously, but what do you think today against Luton? Um, well, I mean, I don't know much about Luton, but based on your current home form, where they are in the table, I'm going to go for a 1-1. Okay. I think it's going to be a 1-1 draw. Right, that, w that wouldn't be too bad, to be fair, if we did that. No, I can see a 1-1 or a 2-1, but I yeah. don't think they'll score. This is actually hilarious, but I'm pleased, because Colback's at left pack. We've given, a hate is actually real, he's getting a chance. Taylor in for grabs a bit of a surprise. But that just shows just how terrible Bong is. Stupid Lyle. I don't know if that was on camera or not, but uh, Lyle just lunged right into a Luton player. And we complained about Red many times, but that was definitely a. Yeah, I don't blame. I don't blame the player for being on the floor there. That was definitely a foul, Lyle. And he's. Yeah, that was always a red card. Foul. Definitely a yellow. I'm not gonna lie. To you. He's, yellow. he's got quite a bit of stick so far. <coughs> Uh, it it is, yeah. I do think we need Gavin. Quite if that was further up the pitch, you'd have been sent off. It was literally that. Jed, please don't leave. <laughs> he still kept the ball. Oh my He's still got the ball. How did he keep it in? Yet another horrendous referee in the championship. I think it's backed by the fan reaction, really, doesn't it? You should have definitely scored. Mo, you got any thoughts about that game? Um, you should have scored. Yeah. That's, that, that's pretty much it. <laughs> yeah. No, really, I forgot about it, really. You look at all the chances we've had. I agree, definitely. Um, I mean, Luton have had the chances, but I'd say mainly it has been us. Jed Spence is the best player I have ever seen, without a doubt. Um, might be slightly exaggerated there, but he's still... There was one time where he just kept the ball in when it was basically a millimetre away from going out. Uh, terrible referee yet again. It's been a while, so you know, we had to get one at some point in the championship. Pretty good atmosphere. What's your thoughts on that, Dad? Well, very quiet game, wasn't it, really? Let's look at the times there's been a brilliance from Forest. Obviously, it misses, but again, it's the ref, isn't it? The ref's yeah. just not fair. 
terrible call. Um, yeah. But I think Taylor's got to come off and uh, give Graman a go. Yeah, not the best start to the second half. It's been all down our own end. Only five minutes in, to be fair. But also, the referee's given two pretty dreadful decisions already. Oh, 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 Come on, Samba. I'm excited are you to watch Gartain Bone play football? Gartain Bone's actually going to come up. Is the referee a Luton fan? You have to give that up. <laughs> Imagine taking Lolly off a bomb. <laughs> oh, he's that bad, he's getting booed. He's coming on. I mean, how are you going to to play well if you're going to boo him off? Oh, come on. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> getting that way now. He did a good thing. He didn't. He actually did something useful. That's it for the rest of the game now. Get someone on the road. What's your thoughts on that? Saying it was a goalless draw, it's pretty, goalless it draw. was pretty good really, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a goalless draw, but as goalless draws go, that was a particularly good one because we did defend. <laughs> uh, Samba played absolutely fantastic. Fantastic penalty save and a save a bit, a bit later on in the game. We defended really well, a hard earned point, and the number 21, the Paraguayan a hater. he tried really hard. Oh, your third game, you still haven't seen us win. Um, um, I've seen one goal in 270 <laughs> minutes of football. You didn't have to say it like that, that's just, just a person. Um, <laughs> I mean, yeah, we've already said it's, it does seem, sound worse than it is, that Luton game, but what do you think of it, though? Uh, your goalkeeper saved you. Yeah, at least, yeah. I would say that. It was actually a much better game than a 0-0, though. It's a good 0-0. Yeah, it, it deserves something from it. It deserves the goal, but just how it came, I guess. Mm. Uh, yeah, the referee was just terrible, honestly. Okay. Really was terrible. Yeah. Yeah, we need to see, you need to see a win at some point. A win and goals. Yeah. That's, that's it. 
But yeah, Samba yet again was uh, was absolutely brilliant. And I, I think Garner's starting to come back into his own, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, he played well. Garner started did well. I hated it. But I was just saying earlier, like, it is probably the most makeshift you can get in those circumstances. And to say we held on for a point uh, against anyone is pretty impressive, really. Thanks for watching. It may have been a goldish draw, but it's, it was still a good experience. Uh, the next actual vlog will be Peterborough next week, and obviously we have West Bomb on Friday, which, yeah, it's going to be very interesting realising that Bomb's going to have to play against third in the league. It was a bit on edge, really, wasn't it, that game? But, uh, yeah, see you later.